Hey guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender and I finally found something that Hardops cannot do. And in fact, this is something I really wanted uh, to know how to do for a long time because it was driving me nuts. And I got a comment on one of my vids like two days ago from a guy named Hydro. And he mentioned something about tapers. He wasn't related to the video, but he kind of like, you know, dropped a comment and said, listen, you know, have a look at this one because, you know, this is the way to go if you want to go proportional. And he's absolutely right. And uh, I had a word with Jerry and, um, you know, we had to chat with, you know, is it possible to implement this to hard ops? And maybe they will, but I think it will be a great addition because uh, this is actually something I wanted for a long, long time, especially for... Uh, cyclic uh, tapers okay but let me show you what i mean just very quickly before we start guys we have patreon as blender bros together with josh three tiers awesome perks lots of tutorials decals critiques all the jazz check the link in the video description and hope to see you there thanks you, you've seen uh, three types of cuts in here and the left one was created with hard ups so you simply you know you you select the mesh you cut in right and then you press shifty and you taper right whoa not the shifty there we go taper boom right and you know it, it's a cut like that now if you wanted to um if you wanted to create a cut with a, with a geo and simply taper it in I'm not going to be repeating this in here, but I'm going to just grab a cube and scale it in and just, you know, bring it up and, you know, adjust it more or less to the same size, just more or less. Yeah, I'm not going to be, you know, not going to be anal about it, but, you know, that's that's it. Basically, bring it in here, apply scale, right? So control A, apply scale. And then what I'm going to do is simply, you know, taper the bottom, right? So scale it. And the thing is that we're going to get a very similar result, okay? So if I'm going to, you know, just a bit too tall, I'm going to drop it down, right? And cut it in, difference, right? And you see that uh, the distance between um, these two edges and these two edges is basically the same, right? I mean, it's a different cut, but if I go a bit deeper, you'll see that there is literally the same, the same type of a cut. So here, when I was using exactly the same size of cutter, you can see that these cuts are identical which is what basically hard ups use a uh, box cutter uses for you know for the taper cut so you simply um scales you know scales the bottom right that's what it does after applying the scale now this one is proportional you can see that the distance between each of these edges is identical and this is you know the desired effect because this is what you want especially on on cyclic cuts and the way this was achieved is actually quite cool so if i'm going to you know recall the cutters here right so let's grab this cutter and uh, let's shift this and bring it in here and i'm going to remove this bottom okay and simply extend this down uh, so uh, do something like this and apply the scale now the way it was performed right is actually pretty uh, pretty cool trick so what you do is you inset um, the uh, the face here which will by the way um, ensure that you know the distance between the edges as long as the scale is applied is identical then you expand the selection with Control plus you go to select loops and boundary loops and you simply dissolve them and now um, the result of it is that you're getting um, you're getting a perf perfect taper you see uh, on each edge and if you wanted to apply this to something that's cylindrical right so i'm going to grab a cylinder and put it in here and i'm going to grab this face and insert it and insert it one more time and i'm going to grab these points here okay so let's just select it you know let's make it a half circle or something okay somewhere uh, maybe up here and i'm going to use curve extract from hard ups to you know bring this geo up then i need to clean this here otherwise i'm going to get z fighting and, and stuff uh press f and i'm simply going to you know apply scale here and bring it down okay and then i'm going to duplicate it so i have a second one and i'm gonna go with this uh you know inset technique okay so let's just apply solidify here there we go and then let's select these faces okay and i'm going to insert them all right and then i'm going to you know control uh control plus select the bunch of loops and simply you know dissolve them right and i get this and when i cut it through boom you know let, let me just bevel this so you can see it's just you know it's a perfect right um it's a perfect cut and every single edge here is the same distance from the from the top edge 
So this is exactly what I always wanted. And unfortunately, if you do it with, you know, with scaling, right, it's not going to happen because it simply doesn't work that way. So if I, you know, use this one and try to, uh, let's make it a bit smaller, uh, try to cut this one in, right? Okay, and apply scale. And I'm going to try to, you know, scale this in. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work, right? Even if you scale it on individual origins, it's simply not going to work. Look, see what I mean? That's the problem. So you would need to, uh, you know, scale this edge and then you would need to manually move this, this edge outside, which is a lot of work. And, you know, so this is the only way um, at the moment, I think, to create a perfect taper um, proportional on each edge. Um, and like I said, you can't do it with hard ups. So there you go. I've said it. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for the tip, Hydro. Really appreciate it, mate. This is a really really an amazing trick, and I think everyone should know it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, catch you next vid.